ladies and gentlemen, Falcon here, and today we're going to be covering the basic points at which you can bounce on Hui Yi. Uh, covering mainly the ones that give you the maximum amount of damage. Ignore the build, I started with a lot of gold just so that I could, um, you know, do this properly. So, let's go ahead and talk about if you are starting on the order side, uh, going into duo lane, you're going to want to be pulling these while your team is taking on red. So, you're going to want to stand approximately right here. You're going to want to aim about right here at the crack. Uh, if you see the crack going down the boulder, there's like an end point right there. You want to aim it about that. You're going to want to shoot, turn, fire. And what a love. He'll have a little bit of health left. Maybe Agni does something to clear. Uh, and then you're going to go to lane. Coming into lane, you're going to want to back end over here after you kill the first camps. You're going to want to pull these guys, right? You're going to want to bring your... Oh, oh, oh. Hey, that. Ah. But you're going to want to bring them to about right here, and then you're going to want to... They're so big. Aim approximately in this area right here in order to get the maximum number of bounces. Uh, mainly you're looking for the last two to really hit because they multiply... The last hit's 100 times, or 100% more bonus damage. So you're going to want to always do that. So let's talk about Gold Free. Gold Free is a bit of a pain to get a good triple bounce on. Uh, as you can see, as we roll through here, there's no, like, great positions uh, to get a triple bounce. Uh, double bounce is easy. Uh, you can get a decent double bounce right here. Uh, but there's no, like, amazing positions to get her uh, into that. However, if you do this right here... Uh, you can easily get a triple bounce. So in order to do that, as we just showed, you have to attack her, get her to follow you here, and then do this. Look at how much damage that is. Okay, you can just do this. So now that I've showed you how to properly do Gold Fury with a triple bounce, let's talk about mid camps. Um, mid camps, it's a little bit easy to do. Simply pull them like so. You can't exactly get a triple bounce on all of them. You can only get like half a bounce on one, but it's fairly efficient. You can do it from both sides because of the way these stack up. And you just kind of gotta, you know, do that. Easy peasy. Beautiful. This is all from the order side. Now let's go ahead and flip over to the chaos side where I actually think that things are a lot easier. So, first and foremost, let's look at your beginning pull. Uh, ignore my level, obviously, but you're going to want to aim at... See that little rock right there? Uh, you're going to... Uh, right behind the gold fairy. You're going to want to aim at it. And as you notice, you have the gold fairy highlight... Or the, not the gold fairy, but the fury highlighted. Look at how easy that is compared to the other. I mean, obviously it's not hard to hit and then turn, but it's super easy. And then we have this one. You literally just run right here and do this. And you're done. You win. You win the video game. Now then, let's talk about bounce points on the chaos side for red. Now, obviously these are mirrored, uh, so this would be the speed side for um, order. Uh, there's not, in my opinion, a great spot to get a triple bounce here. Uh, from what I can tell, I could be wrong, the best spot looks like it would be right here. So, is there any good ways to pull these here? Uh... Um... Okay, that works. So, I was wrong. Uh, if you pull to right here and then you bank around here, uh, you can get a good triple bounce. Um... But I'm high level, right? So let's say how far that would actually go. You know, how simple is that um, compared to trying to do that? A little bit. Uh, but if you're trying to clear on your own very quickly and efficiently, that's probably the best way to do it. Kind of like this. Like, how simple is that? Like, it's really easy to clear camps over here. Uh, and again, we've already covered Gold Fury. One quick note before we go look at Fire Giant. If you're going to clear this right here, here's something to note. This guy doesn't move very much unless you do this. But then you have this, which I think is a um, pretty good bounce spot in this uh, for these guys. 
Um, it might work on the other side as well, but I'm not 100% sure, and I could go test, but I still think that the one I showed was better. So let's talk about some bounce points around Fire Giant. Do you want to quickly clear all these little annoying guys? Let me show you this position, which missed the one, but hey, it normally works. <laughs> so hitting Fire Giant five to or three times is really difficult, especially if you're having to tank. Uh, but that said, if you stand right here, you get all three shots on him. And that about concludes it for uh, this Ricochet Guide. I'm going to try to cut it up and make it a little bit shorter. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of points that you should look at. Um, and you shouldn't be afraid to take like crazy bank shots, especially late game. Uh, it can be really worth it to try and, you know, to try to get a kill when somebody's right there. Or as we can see whenever my cooldown comes back up, you know. You have almost the same shot right there. Like those bank shots, if somebody's low health, it's worth it, it to try to get the kill. Uh, obviously, don't give up lane pressure trying to get a kill. Um, that's one problem I have. But like, there are many places that you can fire. You know, hell, like, you can do that. You know, and a lot of people don't pay attention when they're backing. Uh, say that that other side was the side where so. Uh, I'll take a little bit of damage, and that's fine. Like, I see people back right here all the time. All the time. It's like, do you know how easy that is to hit? It's insane. Uh, choke points. People are coming into this. If you stand, if you have a ward right there, and you stand right here. Watch out. That is so much damage. You'll almost one-shot people. Like, I see so many people play Hui Yi. And they do, uh, is there a minion, minion wave coming? Yeah, they'll just do this, which is fine if you can't get off to the side. But if you can get to the side and do this, you know, like, it's so much better because your second shot's hit. And now, obviously, if you can't do it, then it's bad, right? Like, that. Uh, I see people do this a lot. Well, my Thor died, but whatever. Like, you see what I mean, though? He built, like, actual items. Um, but yeah, it's not difficult to get off really good bank shots. It just takes a little bit of time and knowing exactly where to hit. So I hope this guide helps you. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know. If you know any other really cool bank shot spots, um, let me know. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope, again, this helps you, and have a good day. That is a build. All right, so you're gonna wanna pull the next batch right here. What? What? Ah, oh, I mean, Thor. So as you can see, if you're in lane, that you can get these kind of bounces like this. Uh, this will allow you to do a lot of damage to the back camp or the archers, which are generally what deal the most amount of damage. Um, I'll cover it later.